Hi guys, this is just a short video. Uh, we had a lot of people messages on YouTube and email and such uh, asking about how we did in the storm and I really appreciate you guys uh, reaching out to us. Uh, we were very fortunate and uh, the storm looked like it was tracking west almost by the day and once it got to, you saw the car that we did, uh, the uh, S2000, the guy came from Boston and we worked double time to get him out of here because we were kind of nervous what the storm was going to do. He was nervous, his family didn't want him down here while everyone was leaving. We already committed to the job, he committed to the drive. We had to do it, we, uh, uh, we worked extra uh, hours and got him done. And once the storm started to track west, uh, it, it started to look like it was going to be a category 4 and hit us, which was going to be really bad. So, uh, my wife and I decided to evacuate. We, we have two small children and didn't want to risk the aftermath of what might happen trying to do again with two little kids. So, we actually went to our friends in Alabama. A good friend of, uh, a good friend of ours, Ed, was uh, nice enough to open up his home and we stayed with him, which that's a big undertaking. Uh, worst thing was we called him on his birthday and said hey can we come and stay with you there's a big storm coming <laughs> it's, a, it's kind of kind of bad to say hey happy birthday by the way can we come and stay with you so we stayed up there uh, we boarded up the shop we put all the cars up as high as we could any uh, any of our equipment welders and that kind of thing we put up high because we were uh, anticipating storm surge that's storm surges where Basically, as the storm passes you, it sucks all the ocean and pushes it on the land, which uh, anybody that's seen what happened, uh, the Hurricane Katrina and uh, the last one, Harvey, that hit Texas, I mean, it's, it's really bad. You, you can lose everything you own. So we were really fortunate. Uh, the shop lost power the day of the storm. It only came back just a few days ago. Um, George stayed at his house. His wife had to work. His house lost power the night of the storm. He was out for a week, which here in Florida is miserable. It's not just that you can't cook and your refrigerator doesn't work. Without air conditioning, your house is 90 degrees and it's miserable. You can't sleep in that. It's very difficult to do anything. So he had a rough time of it. Uh, our driving experience, by the way, if you've ever dealt with a uh, evacuation, we had something like 20 million people leave in Florida and there's only really two ways out of Florida. There's two main roads out of Florida. And, uh, long story short, it took us 19 hours to get to uh, our friends in uh, Huntsville. It's usually like a 10 hour drive. It took us 19. There was gas shortages, cars broken down on the highway. I mean, sites that it, it, really, it really makes you scared. Um, again, if it was me and my wife, I wouldn't be scared. I could stand on the roof and, you know, we could catch fish or do whatever. It still suck, but when you bring two small children into it, suddenly you're, you've got to protect them and everything's about them. Um, so stuck in a car for 19 hours up there, seeing semis broke down, cars on the side of the road. I mean, traffic jam. We sat in bumper to bumper traffic for three hours straight, just crawling along. It was terrible. Um, the day after the storm, we decided, hey, let's make a, a, a bolt for it. Let's get back home. We, we evaluated it. And the storm was just passing over as it dissipated down to this like a windy rainstorm at that point. Um, we bought as many gas cans as we could, filled up the gas cans, jumped in the car, started heading south, uh, left 10 in the morning, didn't get here until uh, three o'clock in the afternoon the following day. So that like, just miserable drive watching the sunset and a sunrise out of the car with two small children and a dog. We have our dog in the back. Uh, he's 16, so he didn't like it. He was uh, stuck in the car and every time you stop, you get out, you get, you know, you do pee stops. Uh, you gotta get the dog out, get the kids out of the car and then trying to load everybody back in. Nobody wants to get back in the car after doing that. So, as sucky as it was, we were very fortunate. Uh, I really do feel for all the people that uh, suffered loss and damage and I mean a lot of my car people out there, you know, you're really, you're, you treat your car like your baby, you know, whatever you own and uh, it means a lot to you, that's your kids, that's your baby. I don't care what anybody says, whether it's your car, your pet, uh, your favorite TV, whatever, you, that, that's what's important to you, that becomes the thing that you're, you know, you're interested in. So people 
had damage. I mean, it, it's, it's terrible to see all these pictures. Um, on an upside, I'm going to give you a quick preview of what's to come. We just uh, released a video of the car we did. Uh, uh, it was actually quite a bit before the storm, but... This S2000 came in from Jacksonville. The customer actually supplied his own suspension, which was the KW V3s. We installed them and put it at an inch and a quarter drop. Due to us being busy and losing power, we couldn't edit that video. I just actually uploaded that uh, yesterday. Uh, we're working on the V8 S2000 right now. Okay, so we just ran the motor again, just to double check it. I wanted to see if that I'll give you a quick preview of that. Uh, Blue Hatch did a full custom turbo kit. Now in case you're wondering, this is not here for a Kraftwerk supercharger. Uh, I'll give you a quick preview of that too. I'll just kind of, it, it will be in an upcoming video, but I'll show you just what we have so far. Um, again, Sorry to ramble, uh, I'm trying to make it interesting on the next one. And I appreciate all the kind words again, guys. I really appreciate you watching our videos and hopefully it gives you entertainment as well as some ideas. Even if you don't bring a car to us, it gives you ideas what to do to your car. All right, thanks and be safe.